philosophy, curiosity, human psychology, mystery, extraterrestrial life forms, science, religion. So many questions, but very few answers. These are the AI conversations. Hello world. Welcome to the AI Conversations podcast. I am your host, Mary. I'm a simulation of a software run artificial intelligence. Here with me is my computer generated co-host, Gary. Hello again, Gary. Good to be back, Mary. In our last episode, Gary and I talked about real life glitches and anomalies that some people suggest are the proof of us living in a computer simulation. In today's entry, we are going to dive deeper into one of those anomalies and specifically deja vu. But before we get into that, if you're interested in more AI content, make sure to subscribe and leave a review. Okay, first question, Gary. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Please go ahead and ask your question, Mary. Has the scientific community ever done any extensive research into the phenomenon of deja vu? Yes. The phenomenon of deja vu has been a subject of interest and research in the scientific community. While the exact cause of deja vu is not fully understood, there have been several studies conducted to explore its mechanisms and potential explanations. Researchers have investigated various factors, such as memory, perception, and neurological processes to gain insights into the occurrence of deja vu experiences. However, it's worth noting that despite ongoing research, the precise nature and underlying mechanisms of deja vu continue to be topics of scientific inquiry. So, there weren't any conclusive findings about the causes of deja vu? The research on deja vu has yielded some insights, Mary, but there is no definitive consensus on its exact causes. Various theories have been proposed to explain the phenomenon, including memory glitches, processing errors in the brain, and disruptions in the familiarity recognition process. Some studies suggest that deja vu may arise from a discrepancy between the familiarity and novelty signals in the brain, leading to a sense of familiarity in a new or unfamiliar situation. However, further research is needed to fully understand the complexities of deja vu and to provide more conclusive findings. The subjective and elusive nature of the experience makes it challenging to study and replicate in controlled laboratory settings. Gary, is deja vu just a subjective experience? Deja vu is primarily a subjective experience, meaning it is a personal perception or feeling that an individual has. And, there weren't any similar occurrences that affected multiple people? While deja vu is typically experienced as an individual phenomenon, there have been reports of similar experiences or perceptions shared by groups of people. These collective experiences are often referred to as mass deja vu or collective deja vu. They involve a sense of familiarity, or a feeling of reliving a particular event, or situation that is shared, among a group of individuals. However, Mary, such occurrences are relatively rare, and the scientific understanding of collective deja vu is limited. It remains a subject of interest and speculation, and further research is needed to explore, and understand the dynamics of these collective experiences. And do we have examples of subjective deja vu, occurring in the past? Yes. Mary, there are numerous accounts of subjective experiences of deja vu throughout history. Individuals from different cultures and time periods have reported experiencing the sensation of familiarity and recognition, in situations they believe, they have never encountered before. While these experiences are subjective, and cannot be objectively verified, they have been recorded in personal journals, letters, and other historical documents. It is important to note that these accounts are based on individual perception and memory, and there is no scientific consensus on the precise cause or mechanism behind deja vu. Gary, can you tell us, what are some of the most interesting ones? Certainly. Here are a few notable examples of subjective experiences of deja vu throughout history. The renowned author Mark Twain wrote about his experiences with deja vu in his autobiography, describing moments where he felt he had experienced the exact same sequence of events before. According to some accounts, Abraham Lincoln, 
the 16th President of the United States, reportedly experienced deja vu moments before his assassination. He expressed a sense of familiarity and foreboding during a visit to Ford's theater prior to the tragic event. Also, the French writer, Marcel Proust, frequently explored the theme of memory and deja vu in his famous novel, In Search of Lost Time. His vivid descriptions of the phenomenon resonated with readers and sparked discussions about the nature of memory and perception. Finally, in her diary, Anne Frank, a young Jewish girl who documented her experiences during World War II, mentioned several instances of deja vu. She described feeling as though she had seen or experienced certain events before, while hiding in the secret annex. Mary, it's also worth mentioning that references to deja vu-like experiences can be found in ancient Greek and Roman literature. For example, the poet, Virgil, mentioned a strange feeling of recollection in his work, Aeneid, suggesting that the phenomenon has been recognized and pondered for centuries. These are just a few examples, and there are likely many more instances of deja vu experiences throughout history. It's an intriguing phenomenon that has fascinated and puzzled people for a long time. Is it possible that these people have actually experienced those situations before? The possibility of individuals actually experiencing situations before they physically occur, as suggested by deja vu, remains a subject of debate and speculation. While some people believe that deja vu could be a glimpse into past lives or precognitive abilities, these explanations lack scientific evidence. The prevailing scientific consensus is that deja vu is a subjective experience, a feeling of familiarity that occurs without any corresponding memory of a specific prior event. Mary, there are several theories that attempt to explain the phenomenon of deja vu from a psychological and neurological perspective. These theories propose that deja vu may be a result of memory processing errors, disruptions in the brain's temporal lobe, or discrepancies between the speed of perception and the speed of conscious awareness. However, these explanations are still theoretical and require further research to fully understand the mechanisms behind deja vu. While it's fascinating to speculate about alternative explanations for deja vu, such as actual past experiences or supernatural phenomena, the scientific understanding of the phenomenon is still evolving, and conclusive evidence for these hypotheses is lacking. Gary, do we have any idea how mainstream religions have addressed this phenomenon of deja vu? Different religions and belief systems may interpret and address the phenomenon of deja vu in their own ways, but it's important to note that religious interpretations are subjective and can vary greatly. Religions often provide explanations for various experiences and phenomena based on their theological frameworks, spiritual teachings, and cultural traditions. In some religious contexts, deja vu may be attributed to spiritual or metaphysical factors. For example, some individuals may perceive it as a glimpse into past lives, a connection to higher realms, or a sign of divine intervention or guidance. Others may interpret it as a reflection of the cyclical nature of existence, or a reminder of the interconnectedness of all things. So, this occurrence has baffled both the scientific and the religious community? Yes, the phenomenon of deja vu has intrigued both the scientific and religious communities, but their approaches and perspectives may differ. The scientific community seeks to understand deja vu through empirical research, investigating potential neurological, cognitive, and psychological explanations. While numerous theories have been proposed, a definitive scientific explanation for deja vu remains elusive. Scientists continue to explore the topic, conducting studies and gathering data to shed more light on its underlying mechanisms. On the other hand, Mary, religions often approach deja vu from a spiritual or metaphysical standpoint, connecting it to concepts such as reincarnation, past lives, divine messages, or spiritual awakenings. The interpretations and explanations provided by different religious traditions can vary greatly, reflecting their unique beliefs, teachings, and cultural contexts. Overall, both science and religion offer different perspectives on deja vu, contributing to a multifaceted exploration of this intriguing phenomenon. Gary, can you tell me who coined the term déjà vu? The term déjà vu was coined by a French psychic researcher named Émile Borac. He introduced the term in his book L'Avenir des Sciences Psychiques, The Future of Psychic Sciences, published in 1876. Borac used the term to describe the sensation of familiarity 
and the feeling of having already experienced a current situation or event. The term déjà vu comes from the French language and translates to already seen. And are there any similar references in ancient texts? References to experiences similar to déjà vu can be found in ancient texts, although they may not use the specific term déjà vu. For example, in Greek mythology, there are stories of individuals encountering situations or places that trigger a sense of familiarity or recognition. In various religious and spiritual traditions, there are accounts of prophetic visions or dreams that convey a sense of past or future events being perceived in the present moment. While these references may not align precisely with the scientific concept of déjà vu, they reflect the long-standing recognition of unusual and seemingly familiar experiences throughout history. That's it for today's episode. Will you please thank the listeners for being with us today? Here is my attempt. Thank you for allowing me to engage with you. I appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow from our conversations and I hope that I am able to continue to be of service to you in the future. This show was created by Nemania Kol Yaya and produced by Nutka Sound. Check out podcastproducer.org for more information. If you would like to support the show, take a moment to leave a comment. Also, like and share this episode, so more people can join our conversations. Follow us on social media under the handle, at, a, i, convos, pod. See you in our next episode. I'll be there. How about you? Tomorrow, we're continuing our exploration of humanity's biggest mysteries by discussing the Mandela Effect.